What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Double A half here with a sports edition. Um, this time we're gonna be talking about Luca and uh, Trey, Trey Young, or Ice Trey as he's called now, or maybe he's been called that, but only people in Atlanta know about that. I don't know. But uh, recently, as you know, uh, the uh, Atlanta Hawks are in the Eastern Conference Finals right now. They're up a game to none um, as I'm recording this video. And uh, they're looking pretty good. You know, they beat my Knicks. I'm not happy about that. But, um, you know, we, we got a lot of, you know, we we, we, we came a long way to the Knicks. So I, I'm happy where we made it. I just didn't want to see us lose like that. Um, but I will say this, with the way that the Hawks are playing, and, you know, I don't really mind that we lost to them. It's just, again, I, I would have much rather seen us make it out the first round. But I digress. Back during, um, and again, I don't really watch college basketball. I don't really watch college sports for that matter. Uh, when I was younger, I used to uh, a lot more. Um, that's probably because they had the um, the video games. They had, you know, NCAA football and basketball, March Madness, all that stuff when I was growing up. So I would, you know, get those games because I was a, I was a gamer. I'm still I'm still am to a degree. Um, not like I used to be, obviously, because I just don't have the time to. To, to do all that but if i had if there if there were 36 hours in a day I, I i would but um yeah so back then i used to play those games and i would you know because i was playing the games i would watch you know the college football games on tv as well you know um because it was it was always fun you know it was always something going on because there were storylines just like in the pros the storylines in college as well because that's what the media does but you know as i got older i got away from it especially they stopped making those games which they probably should bring him back. You know, I don't know why. You know, if, if one of y'all brothers know why they stopped making those NCAA games, let me know. You know, but I will say this though too. I do know that it's not right how these brothers don't get paid any money when they're when they're bringing in millions and probably billions of dollars to these um, college programs. Um, and then obviously when they were on a video game, that probably you know that's more money that they could have been making. But um, yeah, if anyone knows, please drop it in the comments. Let me know the exact reason why. But uh, so a couple of years ago, and I, I don't know why, but on again, off again, I am when it comes to college basketball. A couple of years ago, Buddy Hill, when Buddy Hill came out, I was watching Buddy Hill in, uh, at Oklahoma, and I was like, yeah, that guy, he's good, man. He's, he's good. Um, he's solid, you know. But I had some reservations about how his game would um, translate to the NBA. I thought that he'd be a decent shooter, which he, he, he is. Um, it took him a while to like you know figure like you know figure out the NBA I guess, but um, you know he's he's still like I would say he's underachieved, uh, Buddy Hilt, right, and and that's pretty much where I kind of had him, because he kind of reminded me of like a a black JJ Redick, to a degree, not all the way there, but to to, to a degree you know he reminded me of that. Um, so I was like yeah you know I, I don't really think he's gonna be in the NBA just freaking you know wild anybody because he's not really explosive or anything like that um so that brings us to uh another oklahoma player mr trey young when trey young was in college i was like damn that that little kid is freaking leading the nation in scoring and averaging he's averaging a double double in college like that's just you know that's that's crazy you know and not at no like you know trump school or anything like that and for for his stature i was like wow you know that that's crazy um, and then obviously when he got drafted, I thought he would go higher um, initially. But then obviously, you know, the NBA is pretty predictable about, you know, the, the, the type of players that, that they want and stuff. So obviously he fell to, I believe, five and it was a trade, um, which was the Mavs with the Hawks for what it turned out to be Luka Doncic. No, no surprise there that uh, Mark Cuban wanted to go with the um, European player because that's pretty much how he rolls over there and you know that's fine to each his own uh, i could do a whole other segment about all of that uh, maybe i will in the future but um long story short there's been a whole lot of hullabaloo about luka Doncic from day one and oh he's the greatest this you know he's larry bird 2.0 all this shit and look the larry bird comparisons need to need to stop okay they're lazy as hell and he doesn't play anything like larry bird at all you know all right uh i think it's kind of insulting to larry bird to you know Call Luka Doncic Larry Bird, and it also says that you don't know much about basketball, um, as well. So, Luka Doncic is more like a um. He's more like a. 
like a poor man's James Harden, you know. He plays the same type of system, the same type of system, the whole, um, you know, Oscar Robertson style. I'm going to cannibalize the ball, all right? Um, I'm going to hold the ball. I'm going to make all the plays, and I'm going to have inflated stats because of it. And if, if you watch any of my videos before or you've spoken to me, you know I'm not a huge fan of the Oscar Robertson, a.k.a. LeBron James style of basketball. Now, it works for LeBron James, you know, when he's surrounded with shooters and stuff like that, because he he's a freaking he's a he's a freak. He's 6'8", 250, 260, whatever. Um, and, and he has he's so light on his feet. So LeBron is like one of a kind. Um, but when you have the Russell Westbrooks, the James Hardens, they don't have that same size, that same stature. They can't really bully their way to the basket um, like like LeBron James could, especially in his heyday. with like a 40 inch vertical. You know what I mean? So it, it just for him, it works. It works better. But outside of LeBron James and Oscar Robertson many, many years ago, you, you know, you'd be pretty hard pressed to find me someone that and plays that 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 has that style of play. And it led to championships. And that brings me to my, um, well, to this video and why I'm making it. Story, Trey Young, 48.7 rebounds, 11 assists, pulling off the upset on the road. But how does he compare to Luka Doncic? Max, over the next five years, who are you taking? Are you going Trey Young or are you going Luka? I'm going Luka. And this is a point Stephen A. usually makes. You know, you have one guy who's a little over six feet and one guy who's six foot eight, and they're both great. Take the six foot eight dude. You know why? The basket's 10 feet in the air. Luca has a chance to be the best player in basketball before too long. In fact, even KD played out of his mind, right? And so I don't think Luca, you, you have to like the way KD played last better even than the way Luca played last. But like, Luca's one of those guys. All right, that's enough, Max. Allow me to answer um, or give my response. I would go with Trey Young. I will go with Trey Young because I've seen him play uh, with the old coach down there who got fired, and then they put Nate McMillan in. And then Nate McMillan pretty much told Trey what I've been yelling at the TV whenever I watch Trey play. You're not Steph. Stop trying to be Steph Curry. And because of that, he was able to finally form into his own, and he, I, I love watching him play. I love watching him play. You know, he really just embraced who he who he is and what what he brings to the game. You don't have to be like Max said, six eight, six seven. You know, Allen Iverson was freaking what five ten, one hundred sixty pounds soaking wet with Tim's on <laughs> in the rain. So, and he's one of the greatest of all time. So it doesn't you don't have to be all that. Isaiah Thomas again, he, you know, not the, the tallest person, but one of one of the greatest basketball players of all time. And I'm not talking about the um, the one I played for the Celtics. I'm talking about the the great Isaiah Thomas. Okay, um, so I've seen more from Trey than I've seen from Luca. Luca, I've seen play. Don't get me wrong. He's added some more nuance to his game. You know, by getting into the. Um, you know, like the 10 foot range and then, uh, you know, turn around over both shoulders, um, shooting it and then the up and under, you know, he's added a lot of that to his game. He's still not a great shooter. You know, he's not, you know, going to beat anyone with a shooting. He's like a, um, a streak shooter. Uh, but again, I just see him with the ball in his hand the whole time. And that, that's just the LeBron James, James Harden, Oscar Robertson style of play. And again, that, does not lead to, to championships. You know, you might put up gaudy numbers, and that's fine if that's what you what you want to do. But if you want to win a championship, you're going to have – like even LeBron James, when he won a championship, he he won them in um, – well, two of them down in uh, Miami where he actually had to play in the real system. So, so out of his four championships, two came for him playing in the real system. And then Ty Lue had them running a hybrid version of what LeBron likes to run. Um, so it wasn't all the way LeBron James system. It was hybridized. And then that, obviously last year, you know, they won against, what, the fifth seed <laughs> in, the, in the Black Lives Matter tournament. So, yeah, we're not even going to get into that. But uh, so with Trey, I would choose Trey. I know what I could get from Trey. I know that Trey's not going to cannibalize the ball. I know I can actually have a team. We can play a team style uh, of basketball, which leads to championships. The reason why the Warriors won championships is because they played a team style game. 
and they, they still do to a degree. That's why Steph Curry doesn't have to always have the ball in his hands. Okay? That's why Draymond Green's the point guard of that team and not Steph Curry. Okay? It, it's just the reality of it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not, you know, and don't even be in my comments saying, oh, you know, uh, who, what are you talking about? Steph is the point guard. Like, look, I know what he's listed at, but we all know if you're going to break down the, the, rule, uh, the roles, Draymond Green is the point guard of that goddamn team. All right? He's the offense initiator. That, that's his job. That's his duty. And they work like that. And then when you look at other great teams or dynasties, um, the Spurs, team team style, um, all Phil Jackson's teams, team style. That's how you win. That's how you win. Everything else is just great for numbers and selling tickets and selling jerseys. Yeah, that's fine. But when it comes to winning, nah, I think I have a better chance of uh, winning with someone like Trey Young on my team than I do with um, – Luka Doncic, because again, well, one, n- neither one of them are great on defense, regardless of how tall Luka is. So that that's a wash already. And then on offense, again, I think that um, someone that knows how to play and find spots in the flow of the game, I'm taking that. I'm taking that um, over someone that I could try to teach, may not get it, may not pick up on it. And don't get me wrong, I get it. You know, if if you could just like you know envision like both these guys like all the way maxed out, I'm sure that it may appear that you know Luca, it just looks like a better option. But then again, look at Steph Curry. You know, Steph Curry is what six three and change the damn game. So you know, the the height. I think a lot of people put too much weight in the height. You know. But uh, let's see what Stephen A. got to say. Because Max, LeBron's I don't really care about what he's got to say. Crown is in say. dispute because he got hurt and we don't know. Luca's one of the. Shut up, Max. Luca, officiate. Yo, why? Why is Stephen A. Smith always adding an R to people's fucking names? He said Luca. We ain't worth that either. Numbers are similar in the postseason. Hold on, let me see what he said. I didn't hear what he said. I swear. I don't blame you for that, but I would say I would say to you, we can't summarily dismiss the notion that. Trey Young ain't worth that either. Numbers are similar in the postseason. And here's the advantage that Trey does have, Max. He doesn't have baggage. Luker, officially Luker. tied. Uh, I, I forgot who was with, who was with, with the most technicals in the league this year. Um, you got that going on. You got a coach in Rick Carlisle that walked away from Luka Doncic. You got a general... Yeah, that too. See, the, the issue with Luka Doncic is also is that he's a prima donna. He's always complaining. And you hear a lot of rumbling. Um, from the uh, locker room over there, and that that's not a good that's not a good sign. Uh, you know, you, you kind of just want people that's just gonna work on their game and play the game the right way, um, and you don't really get that from from Luca. But again, nothing against Luca personally. I don't obviously I don't know him, but just if I was starting a, a team tomorrow, um, and I had to. And those are my choices on the, the first player I want to choose. I'm going to take Trey. I'm taking Trey over Luca. And, and you know what? Again, nothing against Luca. It's just a, I think it's more just a preference. So again, before y'all start hopping in the comments with all the bullshit, this is mainly about preference. I'm not going to sit here and say what's right or wrong. You know, it's about preference. About how if you're running a team, how you want the team to be ran. If you want someone to cannibalize the ball. And um, you think that you can win like that if you just put the right pieces around. Hey, by all means, you know, try and knock yourself out. Um, that's not what I would do. And that's all I'm saying. But anyway, y'all, peace.